Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a little series where we're all going to take a look at things you can do to try to solve issues with blue screens. Uh, blue screens are these uh, big crashes. In general, when you get a blue screen of death in Windows, it is because there's been a critical problem and Windows just can't continue. Uh, in this video, we're going to actually talk about what happens if you get blue screens while you upgrade uh, to Windows 10 or you upgrade Windows 10 to a new version or do a clean install. One of the biggest problems while installing is often the too big amount of devices connected to a computer. If you have blue screens while trying to install Windows, make sure to uh, unplug everything that is possible to unplug from your PC. If you have multiple devices that are plugged on your USB ports, unplug everything that you can and make sure that you are running at the minimum. So that's very, very important. If you have anything you can unplug and just keep you know, the computer at bare minimum of just running the minimum you know that it needs to actually function um, this is often a case of blue screen of death as a tech guy uh, many times that I've installed Windows the problem arose from devices that are actually plugged in so this is very important to understand that if you upgrade if you change something if you want to do a clean install unplug everything do the clean install and then after that, you'll you know reinstall each device one by one. If it's while you have an upgrade, if you are already in Windows 10, for example, and you're upgrading to a new version of Windows 10, that instability could have something to do with your old system. It's not impossible that a setting or that something is a software you have installed, a driver is causing a problem. And uh, it could be a third party antivirus also. That when it happens means that their chances are you might be better off doing a uh, clean install rather than continuing. Anytime you have an upgrade that doesn't go very well or has errors, you are better off doing a clean install because there's a good chance that if you had problems while upgrading, your system will be unstable once it's actually installed and things were not going to work right. So it's very important to do so. And last but not least, don't forget that everything you do in your Windows, when you upgrade, when you clean install, whatever time it takes, leave it alone, let it do what it has to do. And that's important to know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.